Good morning everyone my name is Anuj I'm a second year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur and welcome back to my channel this is another episode of study with me episode number 13 so if you are sticking from episode 1 and you have made it to episode 13 you know that I've studied 13 days at least anyways after waking up at 7 in the morning i prepare my way to go to college to attend my offline lecture of ophthalmology at 8 Our college usually starts from nine, but today it's starting from eight. Actually, we only have one lecture, so for one lecture from eight to nine, I'll have to go to the college and come back. It's the lecture for ophthalmology, and I hope it's going to be good. Let's go. After reaching GMC Nagpur, I went inside the hospital as our lectures are conducted inside the lecture hall, which is in the hospital. I met a few of my friends on the way. As struggling as it was, we finally found our way towards the lecture hall. I had mixed feelings when I was told that the lecture is cancelled upon reaching there exactly at eight. It was a gigantic mess. जा रहे हैं वापस एक घंटे के टाइम पास के पास. I was sad that the lecture was not conducted, so I actually made my way towards the college building where me and my friends had our breakfast. We also saw some pretty birds flying around. Actually, birds remind me of my first day at GMC Nagpur. While going downstairs, we saw a signboard that says "Way to the Organ Exhibition." That reminded me of the organ exhibition that we had conducted last year. It's been almost one year since this was happened, and that was kind of my big break for this YouTube channel as well, because at that time I had six thousand subscribers, and then it grew exponentially. Anyways, if you haven't checked that video out, there's the link above. I make my way back to my home as I have had my breakfast. I'm ready to rock and roll and by rock and roll I actually mean to study and take notes. I take a shower and clean my room and finally make a to-do list. It's a very simple list but it makes me aware of what I want to do today. Grab my iPad Air 4 and start with the first thing that is Shanbag. Shanbag is a book for pharmacology. It is much more exam based. I have used KJ Tripathi throughout the year for more better explanation, but to write an examination Shanbag provides you a better exam oriented approach. As that was done, I scroll through my phone briefly and get back to studying. I do not have the actual book. I only have the PDF which my friend sent to me, and here I am reading the chapter on antibiotics. Specifically speaking, the penicillins, fluoroquinolones, cotrimoxazole, sulfur drugs, etc. Today was an antibiotic day. Antibiotics are kind of difficult to remember, and they re they require frequent revision. What I'm doing over here is on a split screen view. I'm just highlighting stuff and writing some questions for myself. I'll probably never look at those questions which I wrote. After that is done, I open up Amazon Music to listen to some songs. But for some reason, Amazon Music recommended me a song from Cardi B. After reading the lyrics of the song, my faith in humanity fell down a complete three percent. After that I attend some business calls and get back to studying and filming. Anyways, what you can see me doing over here is I'm explaining the anti TB drugs to my dear brother. He's actually currently in 9th class and he is kind of interested in whatever I am studying. Plus I make it in a fun way so that we have a good laugh while we are studying. You see, if you explain a thing to somebody it sticks with you way longer. More on that later. Anyways, after that is done, I clean up and do a solid 1 hour of time pass on my phone. Then I make my way downstairs to have my lunch. Aditi calls me to discuss more further drugs of chemotherapy. As exam is approaching, group discussions is the way to go. Here we are actually discussing about the anti-TB drugs, but more about how to make a regimen and what are the regimens, and asking each other the different questions based on these drugs itself. We later also discuss the anti-malarial drugs and anti-parasitic drugs. Without discussions, my life is incomplete, as you might have guessed already. And for anybody who's asking me, I guess this is the best way to learn pharmac as well as microbiology. As I'm talking a lot about discussion and explanation, let me give you a quote by Einstein. Einstein said that if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it yourself. That means that 
if you are over complicating things while you are trying to explain stuff that means you don't understand it very well the technique of study that i'm using over here is called as the feynman technique where explanation is one of the key ingredients you can see a flowchart of what the feynman technique actually is on the screen all right after all of that is done it is in the afternoon and i got to do some youtube work so what i'm doing over here is editing the video about 200k q and a I got these questions from Instagram so if you aren't following me on Instagram you're missing out on so many things After that is done I play Minecraft with my brother Ashutosh At this point in my life I have replaced Anki with Minecraft I'm trying to build a food farm over here After building my food farm I build a roller coaster for me and Ashutosh All right now it's almost 7:30 that I'm on the computer and I think I need to do something better now I was kind of tired but then I thought if I'm filming a study with me video I should be much more productive. This is one of the ways that you guys inspire me to be a better version of myself like I inspire you to be a better version of yourself. I've never even met you but you're changing my life. I think the same goes for you as well. Anyways my next stop was Maro as I was revising all the antimicrobials today I thought of rewatching a lecture by Dr Ranjan Kumar Patel about the antiretroviral drugs as it is one of the important questions that come in our exams I did not do a lot of Maro but I only watched this lecture I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys since edition 5 is here should we rewatch the videos again if we watched them in edition 4 and the answer is no as 90 to 95% of the content remains the same If you want to go ahead then I would suggest looking at the time stamps of each video to find out what new content has been added and if you feel like that's interesting to you you can watch that video what I also suggest is that watch the first video from all the different faculties so that you get a clear idea of what to do with each subject this is exactly what happened to me when I was studying surgery I had watched a few videos but then edition 5 rolled out and I did not know what to do so I naturally looked towards the internet for answers and i think this will help you out too i also have recorded a review of maro and it will be dropping soon thank you for suggesting me to do it after the lecture was done it was no screen time for the rest of the night at around 9:30 i went downstairs after having my food and walked around for a bit in this chilly winter night anyways thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel i strongly suggest that you do and also hit the thumbs up button because it gives me a lot of motivation to keep putting out great videos such as this one all right stay safe stay healthy and stay happy my friends until next time this is anush bachel i will see you soon